Hello guys, Retail here. This is yet another tutorial of mine where I will be explaining how you can add extra kit to any team in FIFA. Just know that unfortunately limit is only one extra kit per career or squad file. But hopefully in the future that will change. What you want to do is be sure you have the latest uh, squads. Which I do. There we go. Next, you want to open RDBM. Uh, link is down in the description below how you can get this program. You can do this step both in your career mode or off career mode. If you do this using squad file, you open. You open squads. If you do this in your career mode, you go here and you go to career files. I have none, but if you have a career you should have it now and then if you change your squad file you change db1 if you change in career mode file you change db2 pretty much same steps go or apply we wait for it to load takes a bit of time usually This was made by the way by Rinald and Fidel, so thanks to them for making this awesome program. Next, you want to go to Team Kits, to Team Kit ID, and then you type 113799. Sorry, you, you go to Team Tech ID, not Team Kit ID, Team Tech ID. And the reason why you type just the, this number, this number is the ID from a foot kit. You can type any other foot kit ID that you want, because you can just put a kit, you need to replace something. So in this case, we are replacing a foot kit. You can use any, any other number, but I just used this number from the beginning and it just stuck with me. It's super easy to, re to remember. So. Team kits, team tech ID 113799, and then use this, find exactly, don't press enter like me before because it won't work. So use find exactly, and then you'll find this. And remember to change zero because you have 113799, zero, home, and goalkeeper kit. So change zero one. So in this case, you will need to know ID of your team. And how many kits your team has so in my case my team id is five because i'm adding one extra kit to chelsea so team tech id i type five you type whatever id is of your team and chelsea has a goalkeeper home or winter kit so i'm adding four kits so i type four uh, if you're adding a third kit, you type 3. If you're adding a fourth, you type 4. If you're adding a 5, which you can do for City, you type 5. Because City is the only team in game that, that, that has 4 kits already, baseline. So you can actually add 5 kits with goalkeeper, 6 kits, which is insane. So 4, then what you do, you just save that. You go profile, you go load squads. Kickoff. Chelsea. But we did something wrong, I guess. I didn't load though, didn't save. I think I loaded uh, too early without it saving my bad i guess you only need to wait for it to get saved and then load that was too fast yeah indeed so we have uh, i guess this one is the edited one from previous tutorial but uh, you see one two three that extra kit so that then but that's like really stupid why would i want to use that kit well 
you go to frosty and then you can pretty much upload whatever kit you want because this is like the so-called default white kit so you just go there and you type kit lower line zero let me try to find it then you scroll up and you want to go to default zero you open that you go home and then like I showed in my previous tutorial if you didn't watch it it's about uh, how to import uh, textures to frosty so just go back to that and watch would like you do the same steps upload blank crest then just uh, Upload curves, color, normal for jersey, shorts, and socks. And here it's really important. Here you have to change hotspots because hotspots will be really messed up. So, say I'm adding a uh, four kit for Chelsea, and then I explained that in, in previous video about adding hotspots. So you you should check that. But short, uh, shortly to know what hotspots to use check read me and check that video about hotspots i guess it's simpler but you 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 have to change it sometimes when you make kits and add, edit current kits in the game you don't have to but if you add extra kit you have to change it it's crucial so you add textures there and then how you add the mini kit you go to legacy and type kits you wait for it to load and then scroll way to the bottom not found one double click you just replace that you save you launch and then the mini kit will show and the textures will show so that's how you add one extra kit per team now unfortunately in the game for those uh, score uh, i guess are next to the score sheet you can change uh, for the home away and third usually or how many kids you have your team in fifa already you you can change the color but unfortunately you can't do that for if you add extra kids so i think it would be like white so unfortunate but yeah that's pretty much how you do it hopefully you enjoyed this video if you have any questions ask me in the comments below or on my discord channel which you should join if you didn't because it's really awesome use my discord boss as a streaming server and um, server for kids because i'm a like a small streamer i stream uh, some other games and fifa korea mode as well which else which i will start soon so follow me there follow me on twitter like subscribe and share this video and let me know in the comments below what video i should make next Thanks so much for watching guys and see you next time. Bye bye.